Hello everybody. Welcome to Facebook Live. I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Oh my gosh, you guys, I have missed you. So whether you're watching live right now or you're watching later, please make sure you share this video. That always is appreciated. Hi Lori, hi Kelly, welcome. We've got Mary popping in. I have new glasses. I'm having a little trouble adjusting to them. We've got Karen, Terry, Deborah, welcome, Cindy, happy to see you here. I'm going to pull you guys up on my screen so I can see your comments a little better. Hello, Nancy. Bonnie's here. Yeah, I'm going to, it's going to take a while for me to get used to these glasses. They're a little weird. What do you think? Do you like them? They're kind of, they're kind of cool. Yeah. Not a lot different from my old ones. Well, Deborah, I miss you too. Deborah says, we missed you. I missed you too. Boy, isn't Christmas just like a crazy time? It's a crazy time of year. Like everybody's so busy and they're so running around and getting everything done. And, you know, as a mom, you're trying to make Christmas perfect for your kids and your family. And, oh, goodness, it's a lot. <laughs> Just a lot to deal with. Hello, Colleen's out in Oregon. Say hi to your daughter for me, Colleen. I hope you're having nice weather out there. Hi, Vicki, Donna, Angie. Welcome. We've got Lynn. Go Packers. You know, the Packers really squeaked that one out today. They won the game. And now they get like a free wild card something or another in the playoffs. Yeah, I was happy to see them win, but mm, it wasn't that pretty of a game. <laughs> However, they got it done. Right. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you. I'm. They're a little weird. I, well, actually, I can see your names better without them, so I'm going to take them off for a minute because they're really kind of straining my eyes a little bit. You know when you get new glasses, they're kind of hard to um, get your eyes adjusted to them. It's just a little weird. Hi, Shelly. Hi, Patty. Sandy. Sandy is my aunt. She's on. It's a, I'm always happy to see you. Rose is here from Washington. Yeah, so I better put these back on because I'm going to probably get a headache. I don't know if I like them. Yeah, it's weird. Anyways, Christmas was great. Um, we just had our final Christmas celebration last night. And uh, we spent the afternoon, evening, and, well, all night at Anna's house last night. Um, with family Christmas with the kids. So you guys know that I have three step kids. And um, Haley and Jared were there also, Anna and Stephanie, and we got to meet Stephanie's new boyfriend, and he was super, super nice. So I'm so happy for her. She seems very, very happy. And um, yeah, we played games. We ate way too many hors d'oeuvres. I made all this food, like I made turkey and gravy and pulled pork and two different kinds of cheesy hash browns because Haley's really picky. And I made a set for her and a set for everyone else just to make sure that I'd have enough. And we didn't eat hardly any of it because we filled up so much on all the pre-meal food, right? But um, we played some new games that were really fun. I think one of them was called Do I Know You or something like that. That was really funny. And um, we played left, right, center, which is the dice game. We always like to play that. The kids love to play it. And we always hope that one of the little kids wins. And they did. Like, they win like $10 or something. We played a couple rounds of that. And it was just really, really fun. We had a good time with it. Um, I'm going to, I said I was going to pull myself up here on the screen. But I'm going to really do it this time. Because I just refreshed my screen and forgot what I was doing. That's what I feel like lately. So at the end of the night, last night, I could barely keep my eyes open. And um, Steve was done. He was just toasted. And um, it was pretty funny. My mom was with us. And we all just walked into Anna's living room. And we sat down on the couches and went right to sleep. Like all three of us slept in Anna's living room. <laughs> it was so funny. Woke up this morning and uh, came home and got stuff to make breakfast because we were going to have breakfast at our house, but then we decided since everybody was over there, we'd take it all over there. And I made buttermilk pancakes and sausages and we had um, fresh maple syrup. Well, I don't know how fresh it was, but it's maple syrup. It's real. So yeah, 
It was it was fun. It, we had a great time. And I see Sue's down in Florida. Good for you, Sue. I hope you had a wonderful Christmas, too. So, what do we have going on with stamping? Well, I can tell you I have a whole bin of stuff that I received for Christmas. Cards, gifts, all kinds of stuff that I want to share with you tonight. And I think I'm going to do that at the end of the video. Um, because it's a lot. And I might have to break it up and share some of it next week. Because it's a lot. I like feel very, very blessed. It's pretty cool. So, yeah, I don't know. These glasses are not letting me read even your names on here very well. So I might have to just leave those off for a little while. I might have to get my old glasses. Um, oh, oh, shoot, I was going to bring you guys in a sample, but um, Steve is recovering right now from bugleitis. Are you ready for this one? Get ready. So... I made him dip all the bugles, you know, the little chip things, into the white chocolate, the almond bark, and put them on pans. So we do that and they look like little, no, it's not blizzarding here, Julie. They look like little Santa hats. And I made him dip all the bugles because I made cookies and candy and peanut brittle and cashew brittle and toffee and homemade caramels and I dipped them and I wrapped them and cut out cookies and oh my lord I did that all on one day when we got back from my mom's house so um we ate all the bugles dipped in white chocolate so I made him do the bugles he wasn't five minutes into it you guys five minutes into dipping the bugles in the white chocolate and he's like oh my gosh my shoulder's starting to hurt and I was like what and I just kept busy and I kind of ignored him and then I turned around a little while later and he's got this white strap and he's got his arm in a sling. I said, what is going on? He goes, I think I'm getting bugleitis. <laughs> oh my God. I couldn't stop laughing. And he goes, I might have to file a report. <laughs> like, You're going to sue me for workers comp, aren't you? <laughs> It was so funny. So then the next morning I get up and I'm in the kitchen and he comes walking in with the sling on his arm like, and I'm like, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? He's like, the bugleitis is acting up. <laughs> so we had a good laugh over that. He's really milking it. He's milking it. Like I made him do one little thing and he's totally milking it. Like he's going to sue me for workers' comp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was really funny, and I knew that I had to remember to share that with you guys because he is hysterical, right? So anyways, um, if you ordered my Snowfront class, I will be cutting cardstock like a mad person tomorrow. Hopefully, I'm going to get those out in the mail tomorrow. Um, if I don't tomorrow, they'll go out pretty much right away Tuesday morning because I will be staying up to get those all finished. I've got tons of stuff going on as far as I host a swap every time we have a new mini catalog and you guys know that the Cajuns mini catalog goes live January 3rd I can't hardly wait to crack this baby open um I'm thinking that maybe I'll have some type of a live on Friday if I have time I know I said I was going to give you guys an unboxing of all my new product but I just have not had time you know, you know, you know the story with Christmas and being out of town and then back and so much stuff going on. But um, anyways, I might do a live on Friday just as a new catalog opener. Um, we can go through that baby and I can show you some tips and different things. And then also along with that, celebration starts on the 3rd too. So, I uh, can't hardly wait. I've got swap cards to show you guys. And real quick, I'm going to, hmm, I'm going to mirror my screen and see if I'm still having the problem. As of yesterday, I was still having the flashing light problem going on when I mirror my screen. We've got this flashing going on in the background, so I'm just going to give it a whirl and see if it's still a problem. So hang tight because there's a little bit of a lag and I have to watch my screen on my computer to see if that's going on. So... Anyways, um, until that happens, and you guys see the flashing, here it goes. What? Let's see. Yep, it's still flashing, so I'm going to unmirror it. I don't want anybody to get a headache. Nobody needs a headache tonight. I had a really bad headache. I had to lay down for a little while today. I was drinking margaritas last night, not going to lie. And 
um, feeling kind of sluggish today, and that reminds me why I don't drink very often. <laughs> Got no time for being sluggish, that's for sure. But I did get my office cleaned up. It was a disaster, as usual. So, got that all cleaned up so that it's nice now, and I have a lot of work to do, which is super fun, because you guys know I love my job, right? Yeah. So, I'll be uh, working on all kinds of stuff. What's happening besides January 3rd, we go live with these new catalogs and celebration starts. Um, I have the correct pack of paper here today. <laughs> Remember last time I was live, I showed you guys the wrong paper. So, when you join my team as a discount shopper during celebration, which is January 3rd through March 31st, you're going to get some, some goodies with your kit. You're going to get this designer series paper pack. This is a sampler of most of the paper in the Occasions mini catalog. Um, you get one, two, three, four sheets of each of these designs, okay? And it is gorgeous. Along with that, when you buy that discount shopper kit, you get this mini paper cutter. And this thing is awesome. I have had it sitting on my desk and it's perfect for cutting little layers. Like I cut something or and it's a little too big. I need to take a little bit more off of it. This is a little guillotine cutter, so it's super cool. You get that and the pack of paper and you get to choose any stamp set that is purchasable. And I say that because you know that our exclusive stamp sets that are in the back of the catalog, you can only get those with Stampin' Rewards. And that's when you have an order over $150 or party over $150. You can't include these in your kit. Nor can you include any of the stamp sets that are in the Celebration Catalog. They have to be an orderable stamp set. So, you get to choose any stamp set you want. You're going to get the paper cutter and the paper all for free with your kit. The kit is a hundred... I'm sorry, the kit is $99, you don't pay shipping on it, and you get to choose $150, oh my lord, you get to choose $125 worth of product with your discount shopper kit, and you get a 20% discount on your future orders. Boom. It is a great deal, and I had so many people join my team as discount shoppers last year during celebration that I'm just hoping I have the same thing going on again. I would love to have you. It's a lot of fun being on my team. <laughs> okay. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I am going to... Who just said that? Somebody just said, I love, love, love the new cutter. It is wonderful. Yeah, and I think it's Sue said that. And it is. It's really cool. Um, I think I'm going to flip this around and we're going to start stamping. But before that, I wanted to let you know. I've got... My online class is coming out in January. I've got Tropical Oasis is going to be my kit class. You're going to see information on that on Friday. And um, I'm going to have a video. And it'll tell you all about the class. It'll also I'll show you a project using the Tropical Oasis, which you're going to absolutely love. The kit is $45, and it includes a bunch of stuff. And I don't know that off the top of my head because I have it written down. Because I don't remember things like that. <laughs> Who has space, right? Nobody has space anymore. That's going to be my kit class. And then um, in January, my online class, which comes with or without a pre-cut cardstock pack, it's up to you, is going to be using the new Poppy stamp suite. Okay, so watch for information on that. And then upcoming kit classes in February, I'm going to be using Birthday Bonanza. So we're going to have a lot of really, really cool things. The online class for January and February is going to use the Peaceful Poppies. And we've got something up our sleeves, a little something extra that I think you guys are going to absolutely love. All right, I want to award, before I flip things around, I want to award my prizes. I always enjoy picking these prizes. Now, there's three ways to win. One is by commenting, so leave a comment. If you're coming in here, make sure you say, you know, something to me so you'll get entered in that drawing. And um, for commenting last time I was live, I've got Jean Baraclo. I think that's how you say your name, Jean, from Hagerstown, Maryland, is the winner of these colored doilies. So that's just for commenting. Chris says she's a discount shopper and she ordered that mini cutter. Yes, absolutely. I hope everybody did because it's fantastic. 
Then for sharing, so you can click on share right now and share my video. I prefer that you share it to your own profile page on Facebook. Don't share it to my profile page. I take care of all that myself, okay? Um, for sharing my video is Mary Olson from Omro, Wisconsin. I know you're on here, Mary. I saw your name roll through. So Mary is going to get these holiday basic rhinestones. They are so, so pretty. And then for placing an order with me in the last couple of weeks, hang on, it's got crooked. I have a two every season, and I know this is backwards, you guys, but there's nothing I can do with, about it. Um, Mary Beth D'Amelia from Clarksville, Tennessee is going to be the winner of this awesome little stamp set. And that's for placing an order. I will be getting these out in the mail tomorrow to you guys. So watch for those. It's always fun to get a little prize in the mail, isn't it? All right. I am now going to flip the camera. And we can start stamping. Let me move some of the stuff out of my way. Oh, and I'll be showing you swaps when we're done stamping. I've got some swaps that are starting to roll in. I, Gosh, I don't know how many swaps I made, like 60 or 80. I don't even remember, but they're starting to come in now. So that's really exciting. Okay, let's flip the camera around. Hang with me for a second. Here we go. Oh, and I got to plug my phone in. So hang tight while I do that. I don't want to run out of battery power. We've done that before and it's not pleasant. All right, there we go. Just so you know, when you place your orders, this is my monthly host code. It's new for, um, I've already changed it over from December to January. So if you place an order with me, use this code if your order is under $150. And it's if it's over $150, don't use the code. You're going to get Stampin' Rewards from Stampin' Up, and I want you to have those. All right. Let's get a move on here. I am going to start with some fun stuff. And this is the time of year where I am making thank you cards for all the Christmas presents that I have gotten. And so I thought I'd start off with a really pretty Chris or pretty Christmas with a very pretty thank you card. And I think you guys are really going to like this. So I'm going to be featuring the mercury glass acetate. This is still available. It is an item from the holiday mini catalog. You get 12 by 12 sheets of this. And this is, let me see if I can bring up um, here. This is one pattern. Isn't that pretty? And this is the other pattern. And mercury glass is very, very popular right now. So Julie says she made my calendar cards. Hang on, you just went away. Um, this week and they turned out so cute. Oh, I'm so happy to hear that. I love it when you guys tell me about stuff that you're making. Okay, so Mercury, this is our Mercury Glass Designer Acetate. And I think you're going to love what I came up with. So I decided to grab my Itty Bitty Christmas Bundle. I'm not going to use a Christmas greeting because um, I'm going to be making a thank you card. So I pulled out the Itty Bitty Greetings. We have a, like a little series of Itty Bitties. Itty Bitty Christmas, this is a bundle that you can get right now. It's in our holiday mini catalog. And this is called Christmas Layers Dies. So in here, we have these flowers, we have these snowflakes, and then we have these little succulent berry bushy things. <laughs> I don't know what you call them. But the neat part about this is with each one of these bigger elements, you have small elements. So these are the snowflakes. There's two little snowflakes. These are the flowers. There's one little flower die. This is the succulent. There's one little suc succulent branch there. And I love doing little accenty things with those because they're really, really, um, it makes your cards extra special. So I used the snowflakes and almost all our snow is gone here in Wisconsin, but I think we're supposed to get hit with some type of storm in the next day or so. And, uh, yeah, it was like 45 degrees today. Steve actually went, whoops, I'll just leave that open. Steve actually went for a walk today. So, yeah, he was feeling a little bloated. Can't imagine why. <laughs> Maybe the fireball did it. I don't know. <laughs> did I just tattle on him? I did, didn't I? Hmm. Okay, so 
I'm going to bring in my cardstock layers. Now, I have made this particular card in different colors because you guys know how I like to do that, right? And hey, um, who just popped in? Teresa just popped in from Arizona. So I was looking at my phone today to see how what the temperature was in Santorini, Greece. When I go places, I put the weather in the weather app. I put the location. And so I can just flip through and see what the temperature is in different places. Today in Arizona, it was 37. It said it was 37 degrees. Holy cow, it was 45 here in Wisconsin. So if that's true, we were warmer. Yeah, how crazy is that? And I know my friend Denise was headed back down to um, Mesa. So I'm like, oh, I hope they made it. And I hope it's warmer than that in real life. Because, okay, here we go with our layers. I have got a Whisper White Thick Card Base, and this is four and a quarter by 11. I've already scored it at five and a half. So we're gonna bring in our bone folder and just burnish that fold line so it's nice and crisp. Then I've got a piece of, whoops, Purple Posy. Now Purple Posy poses, no pun intended, <laughs> A little problem because our purple posy ink pad was defective and no matter how much changing of the chemical compounds or I don't know I'm, I'm trying to sound like a scientist but I, I don't know that I'm really coming off well with it because I'm obviously not I make pretty cards I'm not a scientist the chemicals in the color for purple purple posy never worked properly they did not meet the quality standards of Stampin Up's requirements so after a ton of different research and trying to get the color to stay consistent after a while, like you stamp it and then a couple of days later, it would lighten up too much. Stampin' Up! decided to pull the purple posy off the shelves. Like we don't sell this color of ink anymore, but this is a really pretty color of cardstock. So I've got an alternate way for you to be able to pretend like you have ink there's several different things you can do to achieve that, but we're going to talk about that a little bit tonight. This is Purple Posy. It is four by five and a quarter. That's one of our layers. Then I've got a scrap of Whisper White and a scrap of Purple Posy. And then I've got the Mercury Designer Acetate here, and this is three and a half by four and three quarters. Now remember you guys, you can always, always find all the dimensions and still photos and a complete shopping list that you can click on and go to my store on my blog. And my blog is right here. As Soon as I'm done with this Facebook Live tonight, I will post dimensions above this video on Facebook, but then I'll get my blog post ready to go with photos of everything, all the dimensions written in one place, and a complete shopping list. Um, so you can shop if that is what you would like to do, and I always appreciate that. But you don't have to write this stuff down if you'd like to recreate these. I just want you to know that because I would rather have you enjoying yourself rather than frantically writing stuff down. Okay, so once, oh, I know, I wanted to um, tell you about this. We're going to take this acetate. You're like, well, how do you stick that on? You can use mini glue dots if you want, um, but you know that I am a lover of the liquid glue. And I have just been using liquid glue on here. And you're like, well, can't you see it through there? Um, not really. It's kind of like magic. And you know how I love magic in my stamping, right? So I'm just going to take that and I'm going to glue it right on here. And then we're going to take this. And it will slide around for a little bit until it gets glued down. So make sure you don't move it as you're handling this layer. I'm going to take this and put it right on our Whisper White card base. There we go. It's already pretty, isn't it? So my friend Brooke, who is also my assistant, stopped over today and I was kind of trying to figure out what to do with this card and she's the one that came up with the white layer idea. So I wanted to just put the snowflake image, which is right here, on the front here, but it kind of got lost in the mercury glass acetate. So she suggested that I use one of these stitched rectangle shapes. This one is the size that's around three and a half by two and a quarter. And run this through your big shot. And once you do that, you're going to end up with a stitched rectangle. 
And then we're going to, after much trial and error and the inability to stamp straight, <laughs> not gonna lie to you guys, it was tricky. I brought in my Stamparatus. So I put my little word from Itty Bitty Greetings and I'm using Many Thanks. By the way, this is a two set. You get two stamp cases filled with 32 different greetings in Itty Bitty Greetings. I am going to take my stitched rectangle and I'm going to put it right here. I got right here. I like to use this little logo on my Stamparatus as my base point. And I'm going to bring in a couple of my broken magnets. Remember, don't let your magnets smack together because they will break. And then because we don't have Purple Posy ink, I'm going to bring in the markers. You can get the in-color markers with the Purple Posy in it. I've got my mini thanks right over here. Oh, my light is really kind of glaring there, isn't it? Let's see if that's a little better for you. I'm sorry, I forget about that. You lay your marker on its side and you color on the stamp and I'm gonna stamp my many thanks. Now, I want this stamp three times on here and this is where the trouble came in. I couldn't get them straight without using my Stamparatus and so, well, I couldn't get them straight to begin with and I thought, use your Stamparatus, silly. That's what we have it for. So I drug it out. I shouldn't say drug it out, it's right behind me. I use it a lot. And I'm gonna stamp it again and all I'm doing is moving it down one little grid mark and keeping it over here on the left-hand side. You need to re-ink with the marker each time. And boom, perfect, perfect. I love that, right? It is absolutely perfect. Okay, I'm gonna get this out of here. And I think I can bring my light back in here. Let me get this out of the way. So here's our little layer. We're gonna add this to the front of our card. And I'm just gonna put it right in the middle. And now this is gonna break up that mercury glass acetate. Then you're gonna take the um, snowflake die on the purple posy scrap. And then I also brought in the two little accent snowflakes. Okay, so I die cut all of this. And I'm gonna put these back in here where they belong so I don't lose them. What did I lose today? I think I might have lost some stamps today, but I'm not sure. So once I clean up my mess, when I get done here, I'm gonna to have to clean up my mess and look for those. I think I shut them down here, sticky side up, and they might have gotten stuck to something because I don't remember putting them away. Okay, hang on, I got one little piece stuck in there. So here is our cute little snowflakes. Now, I just you could get your sponge out and sponge some glue on the back, which is the correct way to do this. And I'm just being kind of lazy right now. I'm gonna put my glasses back on. Oh yeah, this is better. I don't know, the distance to my computer screen was not good. Maybe that's why I have a headache today. Maybe it's not the margaritas I drank last night. Maybe it's my new glasses. That could be. I'll have to watch that. I'm just putting little dots of glue on the snowflakes. And then I'm going to bring them down in here. Let's see, I want them, let me look at this a little bit. Where's that little, oh, I'm gonna put them in right in here. Now they're gonna go off my white layer just a touch, but that's okay, it just adds some really neat interest. Isn't that pretty? I just thought this was so pretty. It's a very simple, it's an easy little layout. Okay, hang on. I've got some rhinestones to bring in here to add to it. My take your pick tool with all of its fancy little ends will be perfect. A perfect helper for me on this one. And I'm just gonna add some little rhinestones to the center of some of these solid snowflakes. Like these up here, and they don't have centers, but look at how pretty that is. Now, what am I gonna do with these other little snowflakes. I'm just gonna add them to the inside because you guys know that I like to have something on the inside. So I'm gonna just, hmm, let me see, how am I gonna put this in here? Whoops, I just heard the lid to my take your pick tool drop on the floor. Just gonna add a couple little dots here. I'm gonna do a little snowflake right here. Whoops, let's see if we can keep it on the paper. 
And then another one. Right there. What do you think? Now I've got lots of room to write in here. Do you guys like this? I think it's really pretty. I love the soft colors. I love that you can see through to the designer acetate and see the color underneath. Do you guys want to see the other ones? Yeah, of course you do, right? Now, I decided to go with in colors. So this was Purple Posy. This is Rococo Rose. Isn't that pretty? This one is Seaside Spray. I really like this one too. And then we have Pretty Peacock. I didn't use Terracotta Tile. Terracotta Tile is this one, and I just didn't really think that was a snowflakey color. What do you guys think? Not, not so much? Yeah. Okay, here are all four of the cards that I made. I'm planning on sending these out to my family for thank yous for Christmas presents. And, whoops, I got a rhinestone there that's trying to get away. Um, we've got, notice the difference. We've got the cracked, it looks like cracked glass on the acetate here. And then this one is the, like, paint splotches. So that's the difference between the two. Here again is the cracked. And then we've got the paint splotches. Yeah, I had fun making these today. Yay! Okay. <laughs> Denise! Are you back? Are you back in Arizona yet? You have to tell me. I just saw your comment come up. Denise was going to be heading back to Arizona, I thought, today. No, she wouldn't be back yet. She's going at a later time. I'll bet I got that all screwed up. Okay, let me put this stuff away. Oops, look at that. That snowflake dye tried to get out of there. Get these back in here and get this closed up so I don't lose them. Okay, we're going to move these out of the way. Oh, and I had two more rectangles cut just in case I messed up. <laughs> yeah, I do that. All right, next. Next, I'm going to be bringing in this beautiful From the Heart Specialty Designer Series paper. This is so pretty. Just in time... For Valentine's Day, of course. Did Denise ever answer me? I'm looking. Nope. I haven't heard back from you, Denise. I need to know what's going on. Then we've also got new punches. And, oh, shoot, I forgot to put the name on the punch. This is a heart punch. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. And this is a scalloped heart punch. And they go together. Isn't that fun? Full-size punches. Love them. Okay, we also have in this brand new suite. Now, these things aren't available till January 3rd, you guys. So I just want to make that perfectly clear. We have this. This is our real red ribbon. It is, I think, half in, nope, three-eighths inch. And it's stitched satin ribbon. Very, very pretty. And I have to tell you kind of a funny little thing. We have um, new embellishments to put on our cards. And I'll show some of them to you in a bit. But, um... I can't find mine. Like, I need to get all my holiday mini catalog stuff out of my drawers behind me and all my new occasions mini catalog stuff in so I can figure out what's what and where everything is. So I apologize. But we also have these heart doilies. These are super, super cute. They come in flirty flamingo and real red, and the backs are white, so you can make them any color you want if you use the back of them. I love that Stampin' Up! does that for us, so that we can use any color. We can make them Coastal Cabana, which is, you know, like kind of this color. It's beautiful. Yeah, so there's another new product. And then, ta-da! We have Heartfelt. This is a beautiful Valentine set. I love this. Roses are red, violets are blue. Being friends is better than eating candy, but let's do that too. <laughs> or you have roses are red, violets are blue. So lucky to have a friend like you. Isn't that sweet? I love these. All right. I decided to bring in some of our red rhinestone basic jewels because, of course, you know, it's red and it goes with them. The oh, look at 
you guys. Remember I said I thought I'd lost some stamps? Oh, I'm so happy to find these. Holy cow, because it dawned on me like six hours in that I'm like, oh, what happened to those stamps that I left lay over here? There they are. Whew. That is a miracle. Okay. <laughs> it's a Christmas miracle. <laughs> All right. We are going to bring in some flirty flamingo here. Hang on. I got to get my little cheat sheet out of here. And where's, here it is. Here's my new cheat sheet. I always mark all my dimensions down on these little post-it notes so that I don't mess things up. All right, I have a really, really simple, oh, let me show you this first. So this designer series paper, I do not know Kate. Um, Kate's asking if these heart punches are the same size as ones that we've had years ago, and I have no idea because I don't have those anymore. So I, I, I have no way to tell you yes or no. But look at this paper, and I will get some of my samplers, my sheets that I have that I make, um, so you can see all of these at one glance. But yeah, these are really, really pretty. Let me get some of the bigger ones out here. Isn't that cute? I love those little arrows. Ooh, there's the specialty part. They have rose gold foil on them. All right, let me grab, how about this one? Nope, that one doesn't. What about this one? Ooh, look at these. Now, cool thing here, the heart punch, the scalloped heart punch fits in this paper. You can punch these out. It fits right in there. Perfectly, and I'll show you some cards made with this. So you can punch all of these hearts out with the scallop punch. This one also fits it. So if you don't want the scallop around the edge, look at that. You can have just those little white dots in there. I love it when Stamp It Up does this. Okay. <laughs> Jean said I should have a margarita to celebrate finding my stamps. I don't think so, Jean. But that is a great idea, and thank you for suggesting it. <laughs> I was worthless enough this afternoon. Look at here's another one. And again, uh, oh, I can't fit this all the way up there, but if I cut a little bit of that off, you can cut, you can punch these out, and you can also punch them out with the regular heart punch. So I love that our paper will do that. Oh, look at this foil. Ooh, that's fancy. Yeah, I like that. So you get a whole bunch of paper in a pack. And I think you get two sheets of each. That's pretty standard for us. Let me get this out of my way here. And I love the stripes, because stripes go good with everything. Well, maybe not everything. Maybe stripes don't go good with polka dots, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Get this back in here. This comes in a resealable um, cellophane envelope, and I love that part too. Whoops, I just ripped it. Look at, I just tore it up. Don't worry, I have more packs of this, so I'll have to transfer it over. But if you're careful with it, you can just seal it back up and keep it all in one handy-dandy little place because it just reseals. All right, let me get that out of the way. Bring this back in. And I'm going to move these stamps over here on my computer so I don't set something on them again and lose them. Cardstock. Again, Whisper White Thick Cardstock. This is four and a quarter by 11, and I've already scored it at five and a half. So we're going to do that. Time for a drink. What are you guys drinking? I have strawberry lemonade, and it's really good. And it's kind of helping soothe my little, I got kind of a headache. And I think it's from my glasses. I, and I didn't put two and two together earlier today. Maybe it's not from the margaritas. Maybe it's from my glasses. Got a scrap of Whisper White, a scrap of our vellum cardstock. I love using vellum with Valentine cards. I don't know why, but it's just a thing for me. Then I took some of our designer series paper. So I've got this and this. This little piece is one and a half by four. The bigger piece is three and three quarters by four. And then, I don't know, oh, I know, this is for the inside. And then I've got a piece of half inch by four inch, and this is Flirty Flamingo. And this little piece is our designer series paper. It's four, yep, four 
by three quarters. And I think what I decided to do with this was just add it to the inside. So I'm gonna do that right now. It's got all those little arrows and polka dots on it. I'm just gonna put this right down here. Be a little bit of decoration on the inside. I think it would also be really fun to um, do the flap on your envelopes for your Valentine cards. So uh, maybe we'll do that. That's something. Yeah, let me grab some of this. I might have some new people here tonight that haven't seen me do that before. Oh my goodness, I've got 400 people watching me. That's a lot of pressure. <laughs> Don't worry, I can handle it. <laughs> okay, so what I found is, oh, um, let's use this piece right here. When you're gonna do the flap of your envelope, you need a piece that I think is two by six. And we'll look at that in just a second. So I've got it out there so I won't forget. But I did want to get my flirty flamingo. This is one of our piercing mats. I sell these and I just wrap them with some printer weight paper and tape it down to protect it so I'm not stamping all over it. But this is what I like to stamp with. And I'm thinking, yep, I'm just gonna do one arrow on the inside. Just like that. Yay! I was afraid that I'd get some ink on my block and then get it all over, but I did not yet. I'm not gonna make any promises that I won't still. Okay, then we're gonna take, whoops, we're gonna take these two pieces and I'm going to put these together. Now this is this is gonna be the size of a card front, right? Because if you add those two dimensions together, it adds up to five and a quarter. Hang on, I'm just grabbing some tape here. Oh, for Pete's sakes. Yep, sometimes tape can be tricky. Hold this back together here. This is that Amish tape that I tell you guys about that's crummy. And it's not that the Amish make crummy tape, don't get me wrong, but their store has crummy tape. <laughs> okay, I got a really good deal on it though. So now I've taped these two pieces together. I'm gonna take this flirty flamingo half inch layer and I'm gonna add it right here to the front of my card, or my layer I should say. And then I thought what might be a neat idea, I didn't do this on the sample card, so we'll test it out and see which one you like better, is if we took this really pretty ribbon and added some of that. Where's my scissors? Right here. And I'm gonna do that. And we're gonna grab that crummy tape again from the Amish store. <laughs> My mother is friends with all the Amish girls that work at the Amish store where she shops. And um, it's really quite cute because one time they got in their horse and buggy and they came over to her house for dinner. It was so funny. They wanted to help with the dishes and she showed them her dishwasher and everybody was very impressed. <laughs> it was really cute. Okay, this little layer right here is just going to go right on the front of our card. Here we go. Pretty so far. Look at how cute that is, right? Then we're going to take the scallop punch and my vellum cardstock, and we're going to punch out a vellum heart. Then we're going to take this scrap, and I've got the polka dot image, heart image. And I'm just going to stamp that on my white scrap with a flirty flamingo. Then I'm going to bring in my real red. Yeah, Jean says this is a good way to use up scraps, and it really is. Um, love you lots. Whoops, I want to do that with red ink. Stand up so I can make sure I'm getting this in the center of my little heart. Yay! So far, so good. Then we're gonna use the regular heart punch, not the scalloped one, but the regular one to punch this out. I'm gonna add this to my scalloped vellum piece. Look at how pretty that is. It's so soft, right? Very soft and pretty. Now, let's see. 
I hadn't planned on putting one of these on here, but we're going to check it out and see how it would look. What do you guys think? Should I go with this? Should I do it? A yes, a no, a maybe. Let's check it out. Let's lay it on the front of our card and see what it looks like. Should we do that? Or should we just do this? I'm thinking I want to just do this because this is beautiful and I'll show you some samples using this but on this particular card with the dark red up here it's kind of a lot so I'm just gonna do this part I'm gonna grab some dimensionals and we're gonna put our heart on Ooh, that almost sounded like a naughty word didn't it I can't even believe that I just let that out of my mouth we're gonna put our heart on the front of our card <laughs> I can't believe I said that. Yeah. Oh, you know what? That's going to land right on my ribbon. So I want to put one more dimensional on here. <laughs> and, um, yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Some days, right? There we go. And then something that's really cool. Make sure you get some of these red rhinestone basic jewels with your next order because they are going to be fantastic for Valentine's. I love them. And I'm just going to take a little rhinestone and put it right up there. Is this not a really cute Valentine card? I think it's really cute. Now, I want to show you how much cuter it's going to be when I give it a beautiful matching envelope. So let me grab an envelope. Are you guys laughing at me or with me? <laughs> I know, I can't believe I said that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> We're going to let that one go right now. All right. So I said two by six, right? Um, oh, I wish I had this cut a little bit smaller because I could use my little paper cutter. Oh, this is my old paper cutter. Where's my new one? Man. I'm going to use the one with the sharp blade. Two by six, and I'm going to, I'm just going to cut this at two inches. Let me move all this stuff out of the way here. You guys need a new paper cutter, or you've been looking for a new paper cutter. This is a wonderful paper cutter. It's only $25 from Stampin' Up. It's got a scoring blade, a cutting blade. It's got the arm that goes out to 17 inches. It's pretty sweet. I'm really liking it a lot. Okay, and I think I may have just cut this wrong. Yep, I did. Okay, let's try that again. We need this to be three inches. Oops. Not two inches. So for the flap of your envelope, remember, I wasn't planning on doing this, so I'm not responsible for that error. And then... Where that little, where did that little paper cutter, here it is. This is what this is good for. Okay, I'm going to bring in my envelope. And I need this to be cut yeah, about right there. Look at that, isn't it cute? Remember, you get this free in January when you become a discount shopper with me. You can also build a business if you want, but most people are like terrified of that. Um, I'll help you do that if you want, but you can just be a discount shopper too. We're going to take this and I'm going to put some glue on the flap of my envelope. There we go. And you just line this up just like that. I want to make sure it's on here good and straight. Open it up. And you can see I was kind of wasteful. So I'd say probably... Um, let's try measuring this side, Kelly. Two and a half inches by six. Is this six? Yeah, two and a half inches by six to make a flap on your envelope that matches. And then you just turn it to the inside and cut around here. Yeah, just like that. So, for those of you that have a favorite Christmas present that you received, tell us what it was. What was your favorite Christmas present? I got several things that really were like super cool. 
One of them was this little gnome that my aunt made. And it's, you know, the little gnomes, it's got a hat and a little nose sticking out. It's got a mop beard and it just sits on a table. It is stinking adorable. One of the other things that I got is Anna got me this Christmas tree and it's big. It's like three or four feet tall and it's a triangle of wood. So you've got wood here and here and wood here. And then they took LED lights and strung them back and forth and stapled them to the back of the tree. So they go all the way up the triangle. And then you hang various sizes and colors of bulbs on this three or four foot tree. Plug it in. It is beautiful. But last night she gave it to me and we plugged it in and it doesn't work. So she's got to take it back to the lady. But it is just amazing. What was your favorite Christmas present? Besides being with your family, I know that's always tops on my list, being with friends, being with family, celebrating, you know, everything that Christmas is about. What was your favorite gift? Look at that. Super cute, right? Yeah. Perfect. Now, if you wanted to, you could stamp a heart on the front here. Should we do that? Let's do it. Why not? As long as we have the hearts out. There. Boom. Okay. We've got a Valentine card. Now, I wanted to show you guys a bunch of swaps that I just got in, because I think you'll like them. Let me get these put away. I think I do that up. There we go. All right. So here's the one we just made. Then we've got this one, and this used the Designer Series paper with the scallop heart to punch out. Aren't these cute? And the, oh, and they use the red rhinestones too. So see, I'm on to something. <laughs> oh my gosh. And here comes that designer series paper again. They punched it out with that oval, with the scallop, um, oval, with the scallop part. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. This paper is just so, so gorgeous. Oh, and this is stamped. This is all stamped. And here's those new embellishments I can't find. And I made swap cards with them, so I know they're here someplace. I just don't know exactly what I did with them. But this is also very pretty. And this is all stamp. Here's that heart right here. Yeah, isn't that cute? Beautiful ribbon. Here's another one. I love this one. And that designer series paper. Oh, and here's one of the um, scalloped, um, what do you call those things? Where'd they go? Right here. Hang on. One of these deals. Doilies. There you go. Look how cute that is. Here's another one. Love this. And here's another one that really shows off that paper. Basic gray in the background really shows off the designer paper. Ooh, I love that foily one, right? Ah. So look at all those. Yay. That's fun. All right, I'm going to put all this stuff away because we have a whole bunch of things to share with you. I hope you guys enjoyed my stamping segment tonight. I knew that I needed to keep it kind of short because we have a lot of cards that came in the mail that I wanted to share with you. I'm looking for my, um, what is that? Oh, I'm looking for the lid to my take your pick tool. Here it is. Da, 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 da. Okay, I'll get that back on there. Put these away, and these, and this, and this. All right, here we go. Are you ready? Are you ready for me to show you? <laughs> All right. Oh, Kate says I can glue the red heart doily on my envelope. I certainly could do that, couldn't I? That would have been a great idea. I'll do that on the next one, Kate. Thank you for that suggestion. I love it. Ooh, Catherine got, how do you say that? Lapis and turquoise necklace from her sister. That sounds gorgeous. Danielle got an air fryer. Yay. What else do we have here? Mary got a label maker. Woohoo! Embossing folders, sponge daubers. Yay. Terry saw the tree and loved it. Yeah, Anna, there's a picture on my profile page of Anna's tree, I think. Maybe it's my tree, too. I don't know. There's, hers is different than mine. Hers is silver and gold. Mine is all colorful because she knew that I would love that. <laughs> okay, here we go. Now, 
last time I was on, I forgot to share. Part of our team meeting, um, we do a gift exchange. Well, and this wasn't part of it, but Mary, mm, mm, Mary Thiel brought me some maple syrup and I am very grateful for that because we love maple syrup. We love maple syrup so much that last time we went out for breakfast, my husband made me put some maple syrup in a little container and put it in my purse because he doesn't want that crummy syrup at the restaurant. <laughs> yeah, we're kind of picky like that. And of course, I didn't want, well, that was earlier, but I was going to say I didn't want that to upset his bugleitis in any way, shape, or form, eating crummy syrup. So, just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, let me throw that over there. All right, you guys. I have just like a ton of stuff. A ton. Okay. This cute little card came from Jessica Schnorr. Look at how cute that is. Isn't that sweet? I love this. This is that gold ribbon with the Christmas time is here. Sweet. And then she gave me some sea salt caramels. And you can see that I've already dug into them. Yep. And a little Stampin' Up! box with a homemade ornament in it. So this is one of our older die cuts. Look at that. It's a little chunk of wood with a Christmas ornament. So how pretty is that? That was from Jessica. Thank you, Jessica. Oh, I gotta show you this. So I got a lot of mail, you guys. A lot of mail. I was feeling so special. So, oh, the card fell out. And this is from Joanne Porter. I'm sure of it. Okay, Joanne Porter. Let me make sure. Yep, Joanne Porter sent me some cards that I thought were really cool. Look at this. Look at her easel calendar card. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Very, very cool. This is a great masculine idea. So thank you, Joanne. I love that. And then we've got this one. Look at this. Oh, isn't that pretty? This is a little origami folding here. Yeah, very cool. Love that. Oh, and she has the flower here on the front. Very pretty. And then, look at this. This is a double Dutch fold. Look at how pretty that is. Holy cow. Yeah. I love these. These are so gorgeous. Now, oh, and one more thing. A glue holder. These are cool, right? I got another glue holder. I love them. Here, let me put the lid on my glue so it doesn't all leak out. Okay. All right. Yeah. Who just said they love this fancy fold with the flowers? Cindy did. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I might have to uh, recreate this for you guys. What do you think? I think that's a good plan. That's pretty neat. I'm going to put it in my recreate file. Then, that darn Joanne, look at this. <laughs> this is so, so cute. Look at these cute little pants. She sent this for Haley's baby. Whoops, let's hide that. Super, super cute, right? Haley, I showed it to Haley and Jared, and I said I have to show it on my Facebook Live, then I'll let them have it, Joanne. But they were like, are you kidding me? That is adorable. Very cute. So thank you, Joanne. This was just the sweetest. Let me set this right over here so I don't lose it. And then, let's see, what else do we have here? Here's another package. This is from my um, oops, upline, who is my team leader. This is from Ann Hebner. Ann sent me Stampin' Up! keychain. Let's see, where is it? I've got one out here. This is something new that Stampin' Up! just came up with, came out with. Create, share, inspire Stampin' Up! And this is a keychain, and it's pretty like substantial. So I got one of those from Ann. And a whole set of post-it notes. So there's one, two, three, and then a couple different little catalog ones. Aren't these cool? 
yeah, Stampin' Up! just came out with these. Let me put these back in here so I don't forget to send her a thank you. All right. And then, set that over here. What else do I have here? This is from Linda Morrison. I wish I got everything. That's a really fluffy. Look at how pretty this card is. She's the stenciling. I think that's stenciling. That's one of our stencils. Isn't that cool? This is from Linda. Thank you for all the videos, Linda says. And look at this. This is a crown ring to go with the crown on my head. <laughs> I love it. Isn't that pretty? This was so sweet, Linda. Thank you so much. All right, let's keep going here. Um, I'm going to put this back in here so I don't forget. You guys know I'm very forgetful, right? Yeah, as most of us are, I think. Oh, I didn't open this one yet. Oh, I didn't even open this yet. I was saving this one. This one is from my friend Lynn in Australia. We made friends online. She started watching my YouTube videos. And I just found her to be a very funny lady. And I love getting her emails. So we email back and forth all the time. And Lynn just had a birthday. And I did send her a birthday card in Australia. Let's see. What do we got here? <gasps> Look at this. It's a pocket card. How cute is that? It says, may, the, may you enjoy the magic of Christmas while it's here. It's peace and joy and laughter, happiness and good cheer. And when Christmas time is over, may the new year 2020 bring you the very best to you. Wishing you and yours blessings always, Lynn. Yay. Thank you, Lynn. This is so sweet. And then this is my note. So I will read that. But I don't think I need to read it online. <gasps> Look at that. Look at those cookies. Oh, this is a calendar she sent me. Very thoughtful. And uh, since I can't see out of my new glasses, <laughs> I think I'll hang it right next to my desk. Oh, this is so nice. Lynn, thank you so much. You are so sweet. That is just the nicest. Okay, and I got to keep your letter here too because I need to read that. What do I got here? Oh, I already opened that one. Here comes another one, you guys. Here we go. So, um, Kathy just shared the company. What company did Kathy just share? You guys know that I don't want you sharing links on my Facebook Live, right? And I know that you mean really well, but we have kind of a no-compete clause as a Stamping Up demonstrator. And if somebody, other companies are selling any type of stamping supplies we're not advertising for them. So if um, somebody shared a link, if you could go back and get rid of that link, that would be great. Otherwise, I will have to go through and try and find it. But I know everybody loves to share those, but it's kind of a no-no. Okay, this is from Lois Billidou. Isn't that cute? Yeah, she used the um, Let It Snow Designer Series paper. <gasps> Look at this little cup koozie. She, I believe this is crocheted. Yes, it is crocheted. Oh my goodness, look at this. Shotgun shell jewelry. Shut the front door. And a bracelet. These are totally cool. I love this. Look at those. And this feels like alcohol. <laughs> Let's see what it is. Some alcohol. Oh, it's got a light on the top of it. Look at that. Oh, it's candy. This is so sweet. Look at all these. It's little, I think these are doves. Look at that. Oh, look at how pretty that is. Oh, and it changes color. Is it gonna change? Yep, there it goes to blue. That is so pretty. Isn't that neat, you guys? Holy cow. Okay, so, oh, and here's something else. Get 
this out of here. Oh, I'm starting to have a hot flash and my eyeballs don't work very good. Oh, and she gave me a template to be able to make these. You are an angel. Look at that. That is so cool. Oh, I'm totally going to figure this out. I will share this with people. I think I'll do it with a Valentine theme. Lois, you're the best. Thank you so much. Look at, she wrote out all the directions for me. What a sweetheart. Very, very cool. I love this. Now I gotta turn this off because I don't want it to go dead. There we go. And we should probably look and see what this is. Yep, it's Dove. It says, deck the halls with love and laughter. Fa la la la. Oh my gosh, it's caramel. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. It's delightful. Thank you so much. Lois, these are amazing. Okay, what else we got here? Are you guys sick of me yet? I got a couple gifts from Christine. Christine is on my team. And there were a few things that people gave her to give to me that um, she dropped off yesterday. And these, these, uh, this is from Cheryl. Look at this cute little basket that she made. Isn't that neat? And then we have squash. It says hashtag squash goals. <laughs> Ooh, these are nice socks. Thank you so much, Cheryl. That is so sweet of you. And then I got this cute little candy cane and a holder. And this is also from Cheryl. Isn't that sweet? And then this little jewel. And let's see what's in it. Because I feel something in it. Oh, I'm going to destroy it. I just know it. Um, yep, it's going down. Here we go. Because I think there's chocolate in it. Oh, and I'm right. Look at that. Hershey's Nuggets. I'm going to put those in my little candy dish. And this was from Bonnie. Yay! Thank you, Bonnie. These are so cute, aren't they? Okay. Hang tight. We'll do just a little bit more. And this is from... Diane. Oh, Diane Christie. Look at that pretty card. Yeah, this was very pretty. Peppermint Crunch Candies. And I can't wait to try these. But right now, I have to finish that caramel. Because, well, somebody's got to do it, right? <laughs> I got a whole bunch of candy sitting on my desk. Thank you so much, Diane. That was so sweet. Oh, I got to write on here so I don't forget. Let's see. This was Junior Mint. Mint. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys a few cards. Oh, I might have one more present. What is this? Hang on. Oh, my friend Denise made these in a jewelry class. Look at this. She gave these to me. Yeah, aren't they pretty? Earrings. And here's some more earrings. Denise is the one that I was asking. Bonnie who? Um, Bonnie Lesperance, I think. It just said Bonnie L. So, Marsha, Bonnie Lesperance. Okay, here we go. Look at how pretty these are. Aren't they neat? Oh, we got one more in here. This has got the buffalo check on it that's so popular right now. Look at that. Aren't they cool? Yeah, and these are like fabric. They're die-cut fabric. It's just the neatest thing. Okay, let me put these away. I actually got to have um, dinner with Denise and her husband. They were home from Arizona for Christmas with their kids. So, this is from Vicki Davies. Look at how nice and simple this card is. Just a really simple card. I love that. And then we've got Heather. Oh, I don't. I didn't get this one open yet. Some of these aren't even open. I've got a ton of them that are open, though. I saved it for tonight. Look at how pretty that is. She colored on the back of the vellum. 
This is from Heather Wesley. Hang on. <clears throat> and then we have... Oh, look at this is a buckle card. And this is from Susan Bach. Isn't that cool? Look at that. Very cool. I love this. If I can get it back together. There we go. Very sweet. Thank you, Susan. And then we've got Jennifer Newman. Look at this pretty card. Ugh, I love this. And she's got a little note in here. Look at how she decorated up the inside with just that little strip. I love that. And then, oh, this is my mom's Christmas card. She took my photo that I took when we were deer hunting and made it into a, printed the picture and put it on the front of a card. Isn't that cool? Yeah. So my mom does make cards, but that's it. <laughs> And this one is from my friend Sue Molden. Look at that. And she says, Hey there, my stampin' hunting friend. Once I had this card designed from the latest pump, paper pumpkin, I knew who it had to go to because it's got a nice buck on the front, right? Thank you, Sue. It's really sweet. And then we've got Jim and Diana Lobs. Look at how pretty those are. Oh, they're gorgeous. Inside, beautiful. What a great idea. Thank you, Diana. This one is coming from Sandra Moren. Sandra's from Bakersfield. Look at that. What a good job she did. Thank you so much, Sandra. And then we have Claudia Swakowski. Look at how pretty that is. She's got that new hammered metal folder here. Mmm, gorgeous. Thank you, Claudia. And this is from Cafe Mela. Look at how pretty that is. This is the snow front. That's the cardstock pre-cut cardstock packs I'm going to be cutting out tonight and tomorrow to get out in the mail for everybody that ordered them. But yeah, isn't that pretty? Very pretty. I love how she stamped those trees on the inside too. Thank you, Kathy. All right, what else? We have Sharon Jones. Ooh, Sharon made one of these fancy cards. Look at that. I love these. I love that snowman. So sweet. Thank you so much, Sharon. This is from Bev Shepke. Look at how pretty this is. Joy. Yeah, gorgeous, Bev. Thank you so much. Put this back in here. And this one is from Kay Allen. Kay, look how pretty that is. I love what she did with that little embellishment in the middle of that snowflake. I hope you guys can see it. This is vanilla with gold, which is very classy. Love it. Beautiful. Thank you, Kay. And this is from my sister-in-law, Pam. She lives in San Diego. Look how pretty that is. Yeah. These were just on the clearance rack. And then here's Pam and her family. She always puts a picture on her cards. I love that peek through window. Whoops, hang on. My goodness, let's get this out of here. I don't know where that came from. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. And I love the plaid that she put in here. Thank you, Pam. All right, you guys. I have got to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I should have done that before I came in here. So, before I wet my pants, I am going to call it a night. I will share more of the Christmas cards that I got with you next week. And let's see, next week, let me move some of this stuff so I can see what's going on. Next week is going to be January 5th. Maybe I'll do it on, well, I might do a live on January 1st to show you, um, some of the new product that's coming out. I don't know. We'll have to see how my week goes because I got a lot going on, but I might do that. So watch for that. Of course, it'll be recorded. So if you miss it, it doesn't matter what time it's on. Um, if you miss it, you can come back and watch it later. 
but if I decide to do it, I think I will probably post something early in the day and say, like, I'll start at such and such a time. I think that'll work out okay. And i got to take these glasses off because I don't know what's going on, but the distance between me and my screen, I can't read what you're saying. Bonnie says, what does your new cutter look like? Hang on, let me go back here. Bonnie says, um, where did Bonnie go? What does your new cutter look like that you purchased to cut all this stock? I think you're talking about my industrial paper cutter maybe, Bonnie. Um, I shared a picture on here a while back, but what does it look like? It's white. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. It's white and it looks lethal and, um, it's very heavy and it's taking up a good little corner in my kitchen. <laughs> Let me know what, what exactly you want to know about it, because I would be happy to give you that information. All right. Yeah, Happy New Year to everybody on Tuesday. We're going to be celebrating New Year's Eve. So that's cool. I will be back on January 5th for a Facebook Live at 7 p.m. Central Time. And I hope you guys can all join me. Let's see, where did my cards go that I just made here? I've got such a mess going here now. I had this all cleaned up, and now it's all a big mess again. Here we go. Yeah, so here's all our little snowflake cards. And I don't know where my Valentine cards went. Oh, here they are. I put them away. Here's my Valentine card. And my cute little envelope. Yeah. There we go. I'll be back on January 5th um, for Facebook Live. Make sure that you guys know that Celebration and the new Occasions Mini Catalog start on January 3rd, which is Friday. Yeah. So, make sure you take advantage of the Discount Shopper Kit. It is the best deal of the year. You're going to get this little paper trimmer you will get this designer series paper stack and one stamp set of your choice out of any of our catalogs except not this one and free shipping and you get to be on my team of discount shoppers you get a 20 percent discount on everything you order after you buy your kit so and you get to choose 125 dollars worth of product for only 99 dollars and i said free shipping so that's a huge that's a huge savings also i think you guys would love being on my team i would love to have you we have a lot of fun all right <clears throat> so i don't wet my pants i know that's too, too much information i'm gonna let you guys go thank you so much for joining me tonight and i can't wait to stamp with you again Bye bye